96. <laughs> ah! Um, how are we taking pics, like, on your camera? Yeah. Okay, work. Okay, work. <laughs> I mean, okay, work. <laughs> Oh. Now don't you leave me with a rage I need something like a blade oh, There we go Yay, we got the dick in Woo Testing Hello I'm Gay Welcome back to our mock bang Today we're gonna eat Lots of high fat foods Look, Jeffree Star does. Mm. Oh, my talk! Mm. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Mm. Okay, so hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with. Hey, it's Nevaeh. And Hollywood, or Christina Aguilera tonight. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, we're gonna do a mukbang. Of course, we're of in McDonald's. drag. They must, they must now. No, this is me natural. I don't know about you. You're just wearing BB cream. I won't call um, that drag. <laughs> okay, so as we're in drag, you know, <laughs> this is a mukbang. We got McDonald's. It looks like we have so much It's more not food. even that much. They've just like overpacked. They really have, haven't they? Like, oh, I think this is just, oh, these are our desserts. So like, you can just like chill. Like, Okay, so I've got the fries. Yeah. I've got the sweet Okay, so fries. Oh, you've got all the food. Do I? Mm -hmm. That's cold. Although that's the top layer, so we need to hurry up. <laughs> okay, cheese dip is mine. I'm vegetarian. I'm really choked on a bit. Oh, these are your chicken nuggets. Ha. Mm -hmm. I'm so mad that I can't eat these anymore. I mean, Hashtag can't. saving the planet. No, I'm not. You must have thought that we was feeding like 10 people. Are we not? Well, we're at least feeding four. Calvin, Ollie, Ollie Wood and Nevaeh. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait, why have they sent so much barbecue sauce? Because like, I've literally got six barbecue sauces. Why? I don't know. And then you've got salsa dip feet. I'm okay with that. This is why I don't wear long hair down. And this is why I'm wearing a ponytail. <sighs> so, you don't know this, but... I'm actually gonna upload our first drag queen mukbang before this one because like, I uploaded it on my personal channel, but like, I mean, I'm not gonna make this into like a huge video, but like I wanna put out like better content on this channel that's more like drag related slash friends and family slash makeup, etc. Mm -hmm. But like, I feel like that video was so good that we did like the mukbang that it deserved to have like its moment. So I'm gonna put that as like the episode one and this is like episode two kind of okay. thing. So it's like a follow up kind of video. Mm -hmm. Just so like people can watch the first one and be like, okay, this is how it's gonna work. And then this one. So yeah. Also in that video, we did say that this was gonna be a series and we filmed that in May. It's now January of the next year. Literally. But. To be fair, whenever we're getting drag, we don't really like eat. <laughs> we never have time. No. We get in drag and we're straight out the door. Mm-hmm. I'll get there. Three hours later. No, I'm scared that the dip's gonna open. <laughs> that was horrible to watch. Honestly, every YouTube video I've ever posted. Are your chips cold? Um, lukewarm. Should I ask for a refund? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, really so just, hungry, yeah. we're literally just eating and not talking. Because <laughs> we're so hungry. In this episode, we're just going to talk about life. So, 2019. Any goals, any aspirations, any New Year's resolutions? No New Year's resolutions, because I'm not that woman. Okay, well I am. Um, goals is to like, just like work on myself. Okay, work. Literally. Work. I basically mean like more to do with like uni work, um you not know, like staying dedicated and committed. To like um, one thing at a time. No no not like that, but like um I was so just with gonna uni, say because I have that problem. <laughs> with uni I was so like into it and like focused back in like September um, September, October. 
Wow. I was really dedicated and then like as the months progressed I like just like lost it. Mm. And, like I was still like getting okay grades and like doing okay, but I want to like stay on top of it and like, you know, because I'm paying like £9,000 a year. I want to succeed. That's like three nose jobs, God. Hey. So we're actually just like, take a thumbnail while we've got all the food. We do this like every time. Mm. Okay, so like let me put some shit in my mouth. Wait. Ew. Wait. So yeah, just to work on myself, and that's it. Over the summer, I want to get an internship. Okay. Um, I don't know where. I've not really looked into it. I briefly looked into it before Christmas. Where at? Just some fashion houses in London. Some, okay. Like, smaller fashion yeah. houses. So yeah, that's it. What about yeah. you? Well, I just want to like be a slut this year. Like, I just really want to be that bitch. Like, why not? You know my history. True. I'm True. just gonna like go with the flow. Also, that's a huge thing for me because, like, I know that sounds so like basic, being like, "Oh my god, go with the flow," but I'm like one of those people that like overanalyzes like every situation. Like, everything has to be so planned. Yeah, mm. like dead ass, like in my mind. But like this year, I'm going like very like, okay, we'll just see where this goes. I'm not going with like any expectations. Yeah, drag me already. <laughs> but like, I mean, that's how I'm trying to do things. More like just like, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm a go. Mm hmm Kind of thing. Mm hmm I mean, not just, like, dick appointments. I just mean, like, everything in life. Like, just, like... You know what I mean? Like, even, like, simple situations. I'm just gonna go into it, like, okay. Yeah. Whatever happens, happens. Yeah, not, Instead like... of being, like, oh, my God, I expected this. Why did this happen? Mm -hmm. Like, no. So I'm, like, over that. Okay. Mm hmm I just want to, like, quit my job. Because <laughs> I'm overworking in retail. Like, I have so much more to offer. You can't quit your job until you've got another job then. Tea. But that's what I mean, is like I'm trying to look, openly look for like new career paths, new beginnings, something okay. that fuels my creativity. Because mm -hmm. I hate doing like the same routine every day because it absolutely kills me off. Obviously, you work in retail, but you work in like a retail office. Mm. So your jobs are like the exact same every day. Mm -hmm. Whereas being on like, on like a shop floor or like a checkout, obviously, it's like not that much of a big difference, but you're like meeting yeah. new people. Uh, you know what I mean, like, mm. you just, like, interact with more people and, yeah. But I just can't stand customers. Like, there's mm. some that I love, there's some, like, that'll be, like, best friends of you, be like, how's your day, oh my god, I love how you look, you know. Yeah. But, like, some of the times, like, customers can just be, like, massive arseholes and it's like, I'm getting paid, like, bare minimum. Mm -hmm. Like, why are you chirping up? Like, I'm just doing my job. Mm. Like, what am I, what am I seriously supposed to do? Like, can you speak to the manager? Like, really? Honestly, I was so happy when I got fired from my job. I got fired. Hi, Tesco. <laughs> Honestly, you telling me to shave my eyebrows, like, completely changed my life. Isn't it the tea? Like, no joke. Mm -hmm. No brow gang. It just... Honestly, the makeup application and the makeup removal... Oh, yeah. Like, uh, when you have, like, glue on, you've got, like, this thick sludge. Mm-hmm. So but annoying. I still have to glue down my sideburns because I just... I don't have to, I just like to. And taking that off is horrible. Like, I feel mm -hmm. like days later your hair's still, like... That matty texture. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. gross. It's just not the brand. No. With the sauce being opened. That made me horny. Mmm. <laughs> I love that. Ugh. No, but for real, we need to film more of these. We do, it's just like finding the time. Mm. Like, like, we have a good like half day to like fully get in and yeah. around and mm. yeah. And it also doesn't help that like we like we live close, but we live far. Mm. Like it's a 20 minute walk into town from here mm -hmm. and then like a 20 minute bus journey to my house. Like mm -hmm. it, it seems like in a car if I drove it, it'd be fine. Yeah. Because it could get here in like 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. But it's just like an actual journey. And you know, like carrying all my drag. Like obviously yeah. this time I had just a plain wig that we were styling when I got here. Yeah. But if I had some like wig already pre styled and I like, had to get on the bus with it, now. <laughs> my fries are done. Okay, so I know no one cares. Um, but my outfit was inspired by Vivian Westwood, so thank you. I made it myself. Couture. Mine was inspired by Britney Spears. I thought it was Beyonce. Oh no, so close. Fuck. So close. 
Oh yeah, I paid fucking £32 for an Uber the other night. £32. £32. I could have bought a wig with that kind of money. Mm -hmm. I'm still mad. Mm -hmm. Did I tell you? So I went out with Billy before I moved home, didn't I? And we went to tunnel. Mm -hmm. And some stuff happened this night. I'm not going to go into it because this is on camera and it's like... It's like funny, like messy, but like it's not the kind of side of myself that I want to be online. So we're okay. going back to my flat. Mm -hmm. Like after tunnel... Like not after tunnel had closed, but I think we left at like 5am. And we was walking back through town because Billy didn't just want to get an Uber from outside tunnel. He wanted to like walk through fucking town. I was like, okay. So we Why? walked through... I don't know. So we walked through Leeds City Centre and um, Billy just refused used to get an uber and i was like billy i'm gonna piss myself and he was like i don't care and i was like billy like i'm actually gonna piss myself and he was like woo so i literally stood in the street and made the conscious conscious decision to piss myself like <laughs> yeah so i was stood there in the street Wait, you actually what you actually pissed yourself i stood in this street and just pissed my like i said to myself in my head like so I'm gonna piss myself. It wasn't like an accident, like I chose to do it. And then we ended up getting an Uber and I got in the Uber with my pissy trousers. And... No. Yeah, and then I woke up the next morning and there was sick all over my carpet, a, oh, makeup, yeah. a face print of makeup on my wall and like smeared fingerprints of like the sick. That sounds like a good night. It was incredible, <laughs> incredible. I decided that I wanted to come home the next day because I was super hungover. Mm -hmm. So I didn't clean the sick up off my floor and I just, it <laughs> came home and went back like three days later and got my mum to clean it off. Oh my god, the stench. Oh no, I left a window open, don't worry. Okay, I was gonna be like, wow. Can you imagine like the hallway is just like, woo! <laughs> Would have been better than the scent of weed that's always there. <laughs> Ooh, um. <laughs> Ethan's gonna turn in his grave. <laughs> Why the fuck did Nevea unfollow me on Twitter? Why the fuck did Nevea unfollow me on Instagram? I'm like low key nearly out of food. I know. Oh, we still have dessert. A cookie and a donut. I tell them we think because it's good for them. <laughs> They're my favourite memes. Um, my favourite ones are the ones where it's like... <laughs> what have I so loud? <laughs> <laughs> Should we try and do it at the same time? Oh wow. My favourite memes, memes are the ones that are like um, Kim Kardashian's earring. And it's like, look like I'm going for a swim. You know, <laughs> you know which ones I mean, don't you? Yeah. Um, uh, you're welcome. Okay, work. I'm so hungies. Hungies for daddy's cummies. This is a concept, but one day if we were like majorly big drag queens, I would <laughs> me. I would love if they did like the simple life, but like drag queens doing like everyday jobs. So like working behind like McDonald's or some like mm. dumb shit. Like, because to me that'd be fucking hilarious. Like in full drag. Yeah. Okay. Like the majority of the time, like them like traveling and doing like jobs, but in drag to see uh -huh. like how like the reactions to see like how it would be. You know what I mean? Because like. I mean, drag queens are just like in the club. Yeah, too. So it's like, it'd be kind of funny just to like see them. I was gonna say see them behind a till, but you've been there and done that! So, um, I mean, yeah. Oh, do you remember when I went to work in drag? Mm hmm. Me and my work was like homophobic. They're like, too much makeup, you're not a drag queen. <laughs> I'm like, okay. What else happened in my life? No, like, loads has happened in my life, but like, not really anything that I can. I got fisted. <laughs> when? I literally texted you on my train home from George's and was like, George, oh, I Oh, okay, work, yeah. I love that for you. Mm, I so. Okay. It was really nice. How long did it take you to get, like... Oh my god, we've been trying for months. Do you have to, like, really stretch it out, then? Well, obviously, no, but, but like, like... Is it a long process? Why am I asking, like, I really want to do this? No, like, we could have done it in a day. 
But like, sometimes my heart just gets sore. Mm. I'm a top, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Same. We talked about Coachella in like the last episode and like the beefs and dramas that happened there. Oh yeah. Did you guys go to that Coachella? Pardon? Did you guys go to that uh, music festival? We'll yeah. This weekend. Oh, this, this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> but we, because none of us have shared like any footage. We may have like tweeted about it like years ago. But obviously like there was some like drama that just happened in Palm Springs when we were staying there for Coachella that like I have on footage somewhere, so like if I find it, I'll insert the clips as we're talking about it. But like it was some like weird Hood shit. shit. Especially when you're on like, what was it, like 3,000 miles away from 5, home? 5,000. 5,000, like, bitch. 17, 18 as well, like we were young. <sighs> Deadass. I don't know the like order of the bad events that happened on that holiday, but it was literally like one night. Well, mm -mm. first of all, so something bad that happened before we even went. So the hotel that we booked, you like, uh, you couldn't pay for it beforehand. You had to reserve the room and pay when you got there. Yeah. And then we was going, uh, and like a few days later, Ollie got a, like, a letter through the post mm. from the bank, and it was like, we're sending you a new card. As soon as it comes, yours will be deactivated. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. So we were shitting ourselves, and we was like, okay, it hasn't come yet, but by the time we got there the next day, it could have come because mm. like, we got there at midnight UK time, which was like four o'clock there. So it could have come. That means Ollie's car wouldn't have worked. That means we wouldn't have had a hotel to stay in. That was the first of the bad events. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No money, no family. Okay, Sixteen in the middle of the trail. I honestly don't remember like how this fully happened because we found needles underneath our mattress in our I hotel was, six. I was making the bed, lifted up the mattress, put the sheet under. And there was just needles. It was very like American Horror Story like hotel. Like, do you remember that you was in the shower and I just screamed your name? I'm like, ran in the bathroom and you just stood there naked. <laughs> I was like, there's needles under the bed, what will we do? I was just like, what the fuck are you on about? Mm. I was like, you must be having a laugh. And then like, full on like, syringe, like, sticking upwards, like, where we're sleeping on mm -hmm. top of. I was like, no ma'am. I mean, of course, it's a Motel 6, so this probably happens like, every like, two days. <laughs> but they acted so casual about it. I mean, you were like, oh my god, we can fill out like, a police form, we won't touch anything, like, DNA. Mm -hmm. And they were just like, it's fine, just we'll get a cleaner in there. And we were like, what? They wanted, they wanted, because you were still like naked, so I went to reception. I and when I went in, naked. and we made friends with like a woman on reception that holiday, like half her mm. on Facebook and Instagram to this day. Mm. Um, lovely woman. Hi, Gabriella, if you're watching. Um, we love a shout out. But, so I went in and I was like, hey, um, we're just making my bed, found needles under it, and she went, well, you can leave the room and we can come and take them out if you want. And I was like, well. And she did not say that. No, no, it wasn't her. Can you remember the shady manager of the hotel? Like, like, the one that was on Grindr? No, that was just a person that was staying in the hotel. It was like a little shady man, like <laughs> tiny. Yeah, it, it, I was telling her and she was like, oh my God, look, let me look for another room. Then he came and was like, oh, what's the problem? And then she told him and she, he was like, oh, I can just come in and take them out. And I was like, no, I'm not staying in there. What the fuck? Mm hmm well, girls. Yeah, so, like, that happened, and then, oh, yeah, we had to, sorry, I just, like, hit you. Um, we had to move rooms, like, three times, so we got, like, moved from that room that was, like, downstairs, and I didn't actually mind that location, but obviously, the second room was better, because we got moved upstairs, and, and it had, had, like, a balcony over the pool, you could see the street, it was, like, lovely. Gorgeous bathroom as well. Oh, yeah, because, like, the mirror was good, the, like, shower was actually, like, more secure. Okay, well, as you can tell by the mess in the room, we've had to switch rooms, because this is not our room. Look at the bathroom. Where's the light? Yeah. Calvin was cleaning the bed as I was in the shower and found two needles underneath the mattress. We had to report to front desk, they gave us a new room. It was a bit like, Ugh, but just, I don't even know, it's a mess. It's literally 20 past 10. We've got Coachella tomorrow and we need to organise and everything, so. Mm -hmm. It was just no real nice to space to like get ready in the morning because it had like the actual like shelves and. And to go to sleep. Mm. Like the room, like the composition of the room was much nicer and super. The bathroom in our first room was literally like a prison bathroom. It was like. Mm, it was like my bathroom in my student halls. Yes. I could see it creeping around the corner with it. What up? I'm gonna have to come up real close. Whoa! It's not that So, as you've got from this video, Ollie is an actual animal. Like, very that, it was just like one like sheet on a rail that you just like pulled to like have a mm -hmm. shower. 
and it was just all like one room. Like it wasn't. Uh -huh. There was no like separation either between like the shower and like. Oh, so the, the water floor. just went. Yeah, and like flooded. Mm hmm. Third, where the hell was the third room then? Uh, the second room was upstairs, and then the third room was like downstairs and below the second room. Oh. Hmm. We've changed rooms for the 18th time tonight! <laughs> this is the th third time? Okay, There's yeah. nothing wrong with the room before, but we just fucking changed it again. Thanks, hotel staff. Thank you. I'm actually losing my shirt. Fully lost it. Need to unpack all again. It's 11pm. We're at Coachella tomorrow. We're up at like 9-8ish to get ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. But the lock on the door was really like dodgy on the third room, do you yes, remember? Yes, I remember that. that. Mm, horrible. We was terrified the entire time. We was like, oh my god, someone's gonna come in, we're gonna like get locked out. Do you not remember the guy? We couldn't lock the window of the room. No, I was struggling and she was like, what are you doing? I was like, I can't lock the door. So she came in to help us and then like her boyfriend, do you remember like her boyfriend came in Ooh. and he had like um, a teardrop tattoo under his eye. I remember that. And he had like a blade in his hand and I was like, Girl, I'm not trying to die on this evening. He was like, what's going on? Yeah, because that means that you've been like murdered someone, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Like, and I was like, we just can't lock the window. So he did it and went, bye. And I was like, <sighs> I'm like, okay, bye. And then we just went out for pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Homeless the man that was on the street. Yeah. just like screamed and I shit myself. And like, oh. I don't even know what he said to us. No, me either. It was terrifying. Though. But it was just like really shady because they were like in front of a door, just like, Sitting there. And there was yeah. like a dog as well, and I was like, I don't trust this yeah. situation. Yeah. I don't think Ish. that part was a nice area. No, yeah. I went to go and get Jack in the Box. Yeah. And there was that other homeless lady that like made you buy food, and I yeah. fully didn't understand what was going on. Like, she fully just was like, you're gonna buy me food, and I was like, yeah, she just like, okay. <laughs> I think one of, either one of us ordered or something, we were just like sat there, and I was like filming. She just like came up and was like, yeah, so it's my birthday, and I need for any food, and, yeah. and then you just got up and was like, yep, yep, <laughs> let's go. And I was sat there like, Sorry. Yeah. What do you want? Drop it to me. Yeah. Yeah, please. Yeah, I don't. I don't even drink. I don't drink. What was that about? What? Shit, it was a birthday. She wanted to eat. So I bought a field. Why couldn't she afford food? Oh, right, okay. I don't like understand what was happening, so. No, because she fully straight up said, like, it's my birthday, I need food, buy me food. And I was like, well, that wasn't a question, that was a, like, that was a statement. <laughs> she did give me a bit of a story, though, didn't she? She was like, oh my god, my family likes Yeah, me, and then, <laughs> when we was, like, stood, went <coughs> to order, um, she bought a deluxe meal, first of all. A deluxe. No! <laughs> the cheek! A deluxe. I was like, okay, I'm a nice person, it's your birthday, I'll buy it for you. Um, but then she was telling me that, like, she came on holiday to Palm Springs with her mum. Um, like six years ago and her mum just left her and like she was just stuck in Palm Springs we and then I started getting account. like scared that like Ollie was gonna leave me in Palm Springs because like her mum left her but like took her passport yeah because she, wow. like, she was from like San Francisco or something yeah I'm sure it was San Fran and she was like my mum just left me in the hotel room and then I just had to check out like six days later and live on the streets <sighs> What? Oh my god, I've got like burning sensation from this talk. Like, yeah, mine's horrible. Oh, my balls are somewhere. I don't know where mine are, I think they fall uh, off. In my mouth! Sorry, that was inappropriate. Oh uh hell. -huh. That's a joke I've got anymore. No, you've been very like. Last year. Mother Mary, and I appreciate that. Last like year. Parent, but... All of 2018. Oh yeah. I slept with one person. Wow. Yeah. Can't relate. I've not done that since I was like 14. Wow. Start young. Do you not remember in like 2017 when I was like every other day like cooking? Oh, yeah, I didn't know where you were. Yeah, like, <laughs> I was just like, he's somewhere. <laughs> he's having a good time. It was all upon grinder, like, and I would like travel for the dick as well. Like, it wasn't like, oh, oh. you're in Chesterfield, let's hook up. It was like, oh, you're in South Africa. I'm booking a plane ticket. Like, I'm coming to get that dick. Like, can you not remember though? Like, I used to, my first ever boyfriend lived in fucking Plymouth. Yeah, thinking about that just trips me out. Like, you really went down to like the Thinking about of the that, country. like, bothers me. So, like, not to like expose, but like, I mean, I'm only exposing myself, but like, I was 15, 16, and he was like our age now. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pedophile. My mum just fully walked in and I've got a microphone stuck to a dildo. So um, that's going to be fun to explain when Calvin's gone home. Thanks. Thanks for that moment. Yeah. Back to the story. He 
he used to like pay for my train ticket to go down every other weekend to see him in Plymouth. And then, I mean, uh, at least he paid. At least he wasn't like, you come see me, you pay. Well, I wouldn't have been, I didn't have a job. I mean, exactly. <laughs> um, and like, where else have I travelled to for dick? Like, when I lived in Chesterfield, I used to travel to Leeds all the time. Mm. I used to travel to Sheffield. Sheffield's not too far. Um, I used to like go miles for the day. Is it because you like run out of people where we live? <laughs> no, it's because there is no people is it, where we live. I mean, I mean scroll down grinder in front of me, and like ninety percent of them have been all you know. this cake. Mix. Yeah, like I always have to go through you, and then you're like, I know them, seen them, met them, blah blah blah, and I'm like, wow, <laughs> he shot on me, <laughs> literally. What was we talking about? Just me being a hell. I love that for you. My camera just died. I ate a donut. You had a cookie. I made a really great joke about how this Jesus him in school where it said, pull back the curtains, anything will do, is clearly about foreskin. Just putting it out there. Anyways. We're going to eat this chocolate donut. Yeah, and I'm mad because that was just like some great footage, but fuck my YouTube, right? I thought it was doing like a lady in the tramp thing. You are a tramp. You're right. Wait. <laughs> Why are you like holding it? <laughs> You're like leading back. <laughs> Get back. <laughs> That's horrible. Not the nose control like touching each other. Oh, I put my bag over there. After I fingered Ollie. <laughs> oh no. I'm not feeling that. You only have to be brave. <laughs> you only have to be brave. Ogres have layers. Doggies have layers. I really don't feel like I've drank that much, though. No, I don't even feel like I've even seen you drink. Roll the tapes. I'm pressed. <laughs> I am pressed. Okay, so like my drag's starting to hurt now, like the earrings are hurting. <laughs> oh, on my phone. <laughs> it's my The bitch. duct tape is giving me such a headache. Yeah, I need to pull my dick out. Oh, I'm talking about like the duct tape on my melon. <laughs> well, girl. Your melon, um, it's like a pea head. I've got such a big head. No, you don't. Ollie just thinks because he's got a massive chin, he's got a big head. <laughs> Uh, wow! Okay, eight head, getting brave over there. Still pretty though. Who said that? Me and you. Liza, Liza Minnelli. Minnelli. Live. Your mama. <laughs> Your mama. Welcome back to this episode of Dragging Ollie for like <laughs> 10 minutes straight. Shout out to Uber, shout out to our driver, whoever he was, I didn't even check. He um, was at the bottom of like, because to get to Ollie's house you've got to go some steps. Mm. And he was at the bottom of the steps and I was looking out of Ollie's mum's bedroom window because I was really excited. And he went, and I was like... <laughs> just you in full drag, just like... Yeah, man, yeah, man this one. Hey, hey, come here, hey. Do we have anything else to discuss? I don't know. I Neither. feel like every time we like finish doing this we're like, oh, I forgot to talk about that. Yeah, we should have spoke about that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Loki, want to give a quick shout out? To like the Queens in Tunnel, because like the last time we went out in drag, okay. that was like the best reception we ever got. Like tea, so much tea. respect. Like the Queens there, all lovely, the thing all is, different ages. The thing is, the Queens at Tunnel are all pretty. They all have themselves together. Yeah. They all have an aesthetic. Whereas in Chesterfield And our surrounding areas are a bit like yeah, it's just like everyone's still almost like finding themselves and everyone wants to be that like bitchy queen, don't they? Yeah. But it's just really ugly and it's like, hey, we've all put this much time and effort in, let's all just get along. Yeah. You know, like we're all, no matter whether your drag's like, you could look like um, Victoria Porkchop Parker. You could look like me. But like, we've all put in the effort, we've all put in the money. Like yeah. drag isn't cheap, drag isn't comfortable, drag, it, drag is fun, mm. but like it's a lot. It's just a lot. Like, mm -hmm. mentally, physically, like, it's just a lot. Yeah. Um, so why can't we all just be nice? Yeah. <laughs> like, and, like, when we went there, like, they were just all lovely, like, straight off the bat. Yeah. And the thing is, like, it was Halloween as well. So, like, Halloween's like a time when, like, random drag queens just come out of nowhere. Yeah. So, like, they could have had every reason to be like, mm, look at that fucking Halloween queen. But to but be like, fair, <clears throat> beforehand, we already knew. Yeah, they knew it was a bit of... off, like, social media. Yeah. But, like, it was nice of them to, like, know that we was coming and, like... 
They message and one all of the, the queens who it's a queen that I've admired since like 2017, Gizelle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've admired her for so long. Like the first time I ever went to like a gay bar, she was performing. It's just cute. And she came up to us and was like having a little little chat with us, and then she gave us a free drinks voucher. Yeah. And I was just like, what lovely behaviour. Like mm -hmm. it's just not something you see very often, and it was really, really, really nice. Yeah. So like, mm. shout out to all the queens there. Um, Malibu, Silly Gal, Gucci. Bow. Bow. Bubbles. Gazelle. Gazelle. There was someone else there, but I don't know his name. He was more of like a club kid. You know who I mean though, don't you? He was like the devil. Yes. Yes. I um, only met him for like 30 seconds at the most. Yeah, it was like super like, like short. Like upstairs, like hi. But like he came, spoke to us. Yeah, he didn't have Complimented to. us and left and it was just, mm -hmm. yeah, it was really nice. Because we was quite nervous, weren't we, you know, because it was Halloween and we both went out in like just drag. And it, it wasn't, wasn't even like, like Halloween drag. Yeah, I was just like, like shirt from Clueless and you was just like... In a shirt. Like, yeah. base, I was in like a two piece. So like... It yeah. was still a look, but like... It, it wasn't was Halloween, like, no. you know? And like uh, there was queens in there that were dressed for Halloween and they didn't get the same reception as us, but... It's our time, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. Just actually be nice. Like, like just literally just turn around and be like, thank you. Yeah, like, thanks. It's not that I hard. love your lashes. Like, yeah. you know, like. Just it's, pick anything, even yeah. if you don't like it, just like, love the dress. Babe. Yeah, like, love the outfit, love the heel. Like, because that's not even a compliment on me. Heel. Like, you know what I mean, though, don't you? Like, yeah. I love your shade of tights. Like, something. <laughs> that's yeah. shady. <laughs> no, it is. Oh, thank you. Love the shade of tights. <laughs> No, that. but like, I just... Do you remember that woman that tried to snatch my wig off? No! Oh my god. So you know there's Where like... Was like I? You know there's like the podiums? Yes. I wanted to get up on one, so I went to get up and she like pushed me down and I turned around and I was like, what the fuck's your problem? Oh and then god, she just like reached in bit. for my wig and I was like, what we're not gonna do is put your hands on me, bitch. Um, oh and then God. that's why I've got this stain on these tights because she threw a drink at me and it went like all down my foot and like my shoes were like new. So because they got wet, they like leaked onto my tights and like that's where the stain's from. It's silly, stupid behavior. And then we left the club and there was like this massive like brawl outside. It was <laughs> fucking the from that. wild. Yeah. And I just walked past and I was like, and our Uber driver home that night was definitely a homo because he was there for the tea. Oh, yeah. He was like, girl. And I was like, girl. <laughs> it's just so like, he was getting like tackled to the floor. I mean, he just walked past like. Yeah, I thought he was there like. <laughs> you can like see me in the video. Yeah, and I like look down, down at him and then just carry on walking. <laughs> Okay, work. Thank you. Jeffrey Star wishes his real teeth could make that noise. I need to tighten my tuck anyways, because I mean... I don't think you do. She's Boxy Mandrews, although oh, Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I knew what you thought to do! <laughs> Wait. Plum 96. Oh, I was oh. going to do Photoshop. <laughs> Let's do Plum 96. <laughs> 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 Wait, we should have said Club 98 because that's when we were both born. Okay. Club 98. <laughs> 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 okay, well, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for getting dirty with us. Thanks for eating with us. <laughs> I have to say that dress like this. How often can I say that? You literally say it all the time. We weren't even in drag early and you was like, let's get dirty. And I was like, I'd rather die, but thank you. <laughs> I love me. Okay, yeah, um, thanks for tuning into my channel. Um, I love my Vanity Forever channel, it's like my favourite one. Um, so thanks for zooming, zooming in. <laughs> so let's ride. Zoom, zoom. Bitches know they can't catch me. Zoom, zoom. <laughs> <laughs> thanks um, for watching. We promise this will become a series now that I'm back home and we both have. Like at least like once a month for something. Yeah, it's try. not hard to do once a month. That's yeah. Okay. And we'll try and like eat different foods. E each time we'll try. Yeah. It's kind of hard, but like we'll try. Yeah. Like Chesterfield have opened like loads of new restaurants. So Thank like, God. Yeah, tea. Thanks for watching. Thanks for eating with us. Um, thanks for joining in this ASMR. Subscribe if you enjoyed it. And if you didn't, then bye. Um, <laughs> like, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit like, comment, whatever. Bye. Bye. I'm just like done with outros now. I'm just, Relate. I'm Honestly, just like, when I was doing bye. YouTube, I was like, bye. Mm. Like all that stuff where you're like, I'm gonna go subscribe and tell a friend and hit the bell notifications and turn this on and then hit share with grandma and then blah, blah, blah. Like, no, just, 
Bye. So yeah. they know what to do. It's 2019. Yeah. yeah, it's horrible. We don't need instructions like, oh my god, what do I do? Like, you know what to do.